Good afternoon, everybody. I feel how I look, dishevelled. <laughs> oh, I don't know what's wrong with me today. I just, I woke up today, I put this on my Instagram as well, and I had so many nice responses about how you guys deal with this when you feel like it. But I just woke up and I felt so just off hormonally. And I don't know if it's anything to do with like being postpartum or, also, the other thing I'm wondering is if my period is on its way, because I haven't had a period in almost a year. Actually, me and Nal were talking the other day, and <laughs> we conceived Winnie almost exactly a year ago. It was, like, just around Halloween. So I haven't had a period in a very long time, and I know that when it comes back, after you have a baby, it can be extreme. And I feel like maybe that is what is happening because my hormones just feel off, like really off. <laughs> I kind of want my period to come back in a way as well so that I can just understand myself and what's going on with my hormones a little bit more because, I don't know, I just feel like I don't know what's going on with my body because I just don't have like a clear cycle. But yeah. I woke up and just felt so off and just can't be bothered to do anything. No motivation for anything at all. And it's so annoying because I just feel like in these moments, I never know whether to fight it and try and get like my to-do list done and I know I'll feel good if I am a bit productive or just to like be kind to myself and take it easy. But then I never know which route to take and just what will be best for me <laughs> in these moments but yeah we just have one of those days and I just feel really overwhelmed and I just want to sit on the sofa and cuddle Winnie and just be a blob <laughs> we actually just now were sat on the sofa and I put the Santa Claus 2 on and I put it on Winnie was just fixated on it and it made me so excited for like next Christmas when I think she'll actually well I don't know <laughs> will she really understand like a Christmas film next next year I don't know she'll be like one and a half so maybe she will I don't really know much about like the stages of children yet because I haven't experienced it yet but maybe she will kind of understand some of them like the Grinch cartoon or something but she was so fixated on the Santa Claus too and it made me so excited. I know some people are like, don't let your baby watch any TV. <laughs> and we try to keep it like to a minimum because I don't really want her to like rely on the telly to entertain her at all. But occasionally dancing fruits, hay bear sensory is a game changer. And you gotta do what you gotta do when you're a mum. <laughs> in some moments when you just need to like have your hands free and you want them to kind of be entertained there is nothing wrong with that i just don't want her to like be too obsessed quite yet <laughs> i was thinking about this i was talking about it with niall yesterday i don't really want her to like hand hold anything for a while if i can help it because i think that will freak me out if i see her like scrolling on like i don't know Disney Plus or whatever. I, I kind of want to keep it to the TV for quite a few years if I can, but I know that kids love iPads these days, but anyway, I don't know why, how I got into that subject. Uh, anyway, I thought I'd be a little bit productive and come upstairs and do a bit of decluttering of my gym stuff because I actually had a big box of bluey samples arrive yesterday from my manufacturers and I might show you a couple of bits actually and see what you think because I actually want your opinion. I'm so nervous now. I'm going off on such a blab but I'm feeling quite chatty all of a sudden. <laughs> I have not been feeling chatty today so far. Um, so thank you for being here because sometimes actually all I want, all I need in a weird way is to chat it out on camera and that is one of the great things about being on youtube sometimes sometimes you just really don't want to go and talk to a camera when you're feeling down and like flat and the thought of it just is so annoying and just you just want to be like quiet and sit in the corner but sometimes when i have have like today kind of just be like just go and have a chat go and have a declutter clear your mind decluttering really clears my mind um it actually helps so thank you for being here <laughs> let me chat to you <laughs> what was i saying oh yeah bluey samples i'm not gonna lie i'm really nervous 
to branch out into new products at the moment. I feel like I've just found my feet with our bluey leggings being so popular and doing this big leggings drop. So I'm like comfortable with the fact that I know that this product is freaking great and so many of you girls seem to love them too which is just the best thing but now I'm really nervous to like do new products and I know that we need to for the business but it's just oh, I don't know I just don't want to make any mistakes and waste any money or waste any just I don't know but I know I need to risk it I don't know I don't know I'll show you some of the samples after because I want your opinion and to see if we then progress things forward with them but Anyway, we are going to have a declutter because I haven't done my gym wear and actually me and my mum did my like duvet blanket Christmas cushion cupboard, well like the airing cupboard I guess you call it, on the weekend and it was so satisfying. I'm going to show you it because it looks so tidy and me and mum were joking that this is now Biscuit's bedroom. <laughs> I think I have shown you this room before when I get out the Christmas stuff this time of year but it looked horrific and I just wish I'd got a before of it because it's so satisfying now to look at isn't it blue I haven't even really seen this room before have you blue but honestly it was piled high with just like spare bedding and I couldn't get to anything like you couldn't see this but we had a huge clear out and took loads to charity and honestly it just made me and my mum even though it's not her covers but it made us feel so just like cleared and satisfied um so that's kind of what gave me the inspo to do my gym wear today as well but yeah this is your sign if you are thinking about it do it because you will feel fabulous afterwards and there is nothing better than that feeling of taking just the clutter to charity and just having clearance in your house and it's really good timing as well because obviously i'll be getting all these christmasy bits out soon so this freaking love this have a bath you filthy animal <laughs> that's our bath mat for christmas time which i found on i think i found it on etsy last year I cannot believe that next week is november how crazy october just flew didn't it anyway let's have a quick declutter of some gym wear and then i will take you downstairs to do a bit of baking because we're gonna have a bit of a harry potter marathon tonight and i want to kind of decorate everything really like cozy and i'll show you i've got these really cool decorations because partially for tonight but partially because we're having a dinner party i know that sounds so like bougie but basically just like a small halloween party on friday with some of our friends because we usually do a big halloween party at ours like the past i think three years we've done that but we just thought this year with win being so young it might be a bit complicated and it gets very messy with so many people dressed up and all of that jazz. So we're keeping it quite small, but I still wanted to do something because I just love dressing up. This is actually my costume by here. I'm gonna be Jasmine this year. Can you guess what Winnie's gonna be? <laughs> She's gonna look so cute, I can't wait. Guys, who remembers these? The Peach Gymshark shorts. Oh wait, no, these aren't the ones I'm thinking of, are they? No, they're not. I was thinking about the Vital Seamless peach shorts because they remind me so much of the Birmingham pop-up event that I did. Did anyone go to that? I'd love to know, but these are just like an OG. I just, do you know what? This always happens when I do my gym wear. I can't get rid of things because they have memories attached to them, which is so stupid. <laughs> I don't even wear them really anymore. But I'm like, no, I can't get rid of them because they remind me of this or that that happened when I wore them and... <laughs> These are the ones I was talking about. I have to keep them. I just have to keep them. They remind me so much of just those Gymshark days, which was so much fun. Okay, we are <laughs> done. You know what, I actually managed to get from four drawers full to three drawers. So I actually realized a lot of my 
wardrobe of gym wear is taken up by bluey samples. Do you know what? I never know what to do with the samples because they're obviously before the final product is ready and I get a bit weirded out about taking them to charity shops because they're kind of confidential because they're like a non-released thing but yeah I don't know yet what I'm going to do with the samples but a lot of the space was taken up by them and I don't use them until we get to the final product if that makes sense they're like before changes and stuff but anyway I mean it's not the most neat <laughs> but I know where everything is now which is fabulous so we've got shorts tops we've got leggings and then we've got sports bras lovely jubbly feels fabulous and then we've got this bag for charity but I am going to head downstairs now quickly before Wynn and I'll get back because I think Wynn will need a little feed and I'm going to very quickly make the cookies I want to make because they need to be in the fridge for an hour so I want to just make the solution <laughs> the dough and pop it in the fridge so then I can they're, they're really cool cookies I'll show you when I actually shape them because that's the kind of interesting part of them but I did also want to look at the samples, didn't I? So I'm gonna quickly show you them. Oh, zoomed. Oh yeah, we are a little bit zoomed. Oh, I need to change my battery as well, because it's low. Just before we look at the samples, I wanted to actually share with you some of the messages that I got for people who may be having similar days to me today, where you're just feeling just CBA, no motivation, very like flat and hormonal <laughs> and I just wanted to share with you because I was looking through some of your messages back to my story because I posted on my story that I was feeling weird and what do you guys do in this situation? Do you carry on or do you take it easy? Because I can't decide. <laughs> um, so I wanted to share because there's some lovely ones that might be helpful if any of you guys are having that kind of day as well. And they're just really like, this one I just thought was really heartwarming. I don't know what it was about, it just made me feel cozy. She put, um, I've had that all morning, so I've dragged myself out for a walk with the little one and treated myself to a coffee on the way. I don't know why that made me feel really cozy, but it just did. <laughs> so I said, decided to run a hot bubble bath. I'm feeling so overwhelmed too. Lit some candles, did a face mask. Then I made a list and just tackled one thing on it, which was do the dishes so the kitchen was clean when I got up. It was only one job, but it felt like a big win. And I think that's what it's all about, isn't it? It's like taking things one step at a time. Because I think sometimes when I get overwhelmed, kind of looking at everything that needs to be done. But if you like do one thing, one task at a time, I know it sounds so obvious, but when I like look at my whole week, for instance, of what needs to be done versus like the next hour, what can I get done in that next hour? Let's just focus on that, not like look at the whole big pile of like the week of to do's and things like that someone said i honestly think we push ourselves through so much but really this is our body asking us to please take it easy for a bit i've just been trying to give myself a bit of a break when i can baking nice things that's what we're gonna do get in the house all cozy and watching tv santa claus too what change of season definitely contributes to this feeling too i think the clocks go back we're changing the seasons it's dark it's really dark really quick now especially if it's not a sunny day we don't get many in the uk this time of year at all and we just have like this smaller window of daylight and it definitely affects us more than we think i kind of love it but when you have things to do it's not so fun as when you can just like snuggle on the sofa and like bask in the coziness that is when i love it <laughs> But you can't do that all the time. It sounds like you need a give yourself permission day. So basically you give yourself permission to feel demotivated. Give yourself permission to slow down and not put pressure on yourself or feel guilty. That's a really good one. Give yourself permission day. And give yourself permission to feel the feelings. Because sometimes if you fight them, that's like the worst thing you can possibly do. You just stress yourself out more and get really upset. So don't fight the feeling. If you're feeling flat, that's just how you're feeling today. But it is only temporary. It won't last forever. I'm actually gonna get on with this because I am gonna run out of time. So, very quickly on the samples, I just wanna get your thoughts. So please tell me in the comments <laughs> what you think. So, we have designed, and this has taken pretty much since we started Bluey to get this right because, no, it sounds funny because it's just like a waistband, but doing a wrap over waistband with seamless material isn't really done. It's always with um, cut and sew, which is like the buttery 
a bit like Lululemon material where it's not seam it's not made in a seamless machine but we wanted to do it in our seamless legging which so many people seem to love and I love I think seamless leggings are the best I like a cut and sew sports brother because it gives you a bit more of a <laughs> you know what I mean but we I think we've done it where it kind of works but I just don't know what do you think of the waistband do we like a wrap over it's still high waisted but it's just got a little it looks a bit more like delicate and kind of fashion focused but it still has the compression for the performance but it's just, I really wanted to, I've wanted to do this for forever, but I just didn't think we could do it with seamless, because usually with a seamless product, well, always with a seamless product, you do it in one, and it's a bit more difficult when you've got that on the waistband. That's nylon win, hang on. Let me know what you think. It's got the bum scrunch as well, which I don't think I've ever seen on a wrap over legging. So I'll pop a picture on screen where I tried them on as well. Why have you kept her ears out of that hat? She looks like a little elf. I know. <laughs> you don't know. She got cold ankles. Oh, baby girl. You look so sweet. I, I was telling them that she liked Santa Claus too. Yeah, she did, didn't she? She did. I got a new nickname for her. What is it? Gorgy porgy pudding and pie. You're going at, hey Gorge. No, can I just tell you that hey, Niall Gorge. thinks that she looks like a George. Yeah. <laughs> Well, not not in a pink beanie and leggings, but sometimes when you look at her, she looks like George. She doesn't look like a George. She she's does. A bald. People think she's a boy quite I a lot. I know they do, but I think people she People think she's good. a boy, and if she was a boy, I think her name would be George because she's just round and. People always go, "Oh, he's so cute." I'm like, <laughs> "Oh, there's George. Look, take this off. It's George. It's George. <laughs> Hi, George." <laughs> Oh no, she's Wynn. My baby Wynn. Everyone loves her name when we tell her, don't they? It's Gorge. Gorgie Georgie. This sports bra as well, which kind of matches. It's got this little slip, but this is quite low coverage, which, not low coverage, low support. Uh, which I... Uh, yes, I think I do vaguely. <laughs> Are you disgusting? <laughs> Yeah, this one's a bit lower support, which I personally like, but I don't have like massive boobs. I mean, they are a bit bigger than they used to be, but I just prefer that yeah. sort of minimal sports bra personally. Um, but we do I have really some options for higher support as well. Then we've also got the higher coverage option. We have a sample here of a different bra, which just doesn't feel like bluey to me. So if you look, it's actually got, you can't really see it off, but it's got this. Uh, it looks like that, and no, then at the back really it's like really... It's just, it's just about so it reminds me a bit of Gymshark, and I don't really want that oh, yeah. vibe to bluey. Yeah. I want it always but, to feel um, quite like chic. So I've just, I've just got my baby, I need to go and change her nappy with. It's not the best time, but... Uh, Who are you talking yeah. to? Yeah, yeah. Just got my baby, Cheers, I need mate. to go change my nappy, mate. Alright, right. gentlemen, wait. Who is it? Someone trying to sell you something. I've got my baby he mate, she needs changed. changing. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh my baby. Wah. You could have gone where in the background with. Wah. Another bra. This is this one. Mama which is quite like low coverage again. Well, even more so actually. It's got a really cool back, but again, not very supportive. But I just like those kind of ones. Make it more supportive then. <laughs> but we will always have an option for more supportive and less. But I always like the less. <laughs> And then we've got this sort of square neck. But again, I think it's too blocky for Bluey. So I'm not sure on that one. But I do really like this one for the higher coverage. Because it looks kind of like a crop top, which I like. If you can wear it with jeans. So oh, yeah. this is the... This is something else. I'm not... I'm not sure. I mean, I really wanted to do one of these about a year ago. But I'm a bit less confident in branching out into the different prods. But I really like the way it sits here nice and... Feminine, it's quite like a nice length. I think it's it? really nice. Do you think it's nice? Yeah, but it is weird seeing bluey in that kind of style. Yeah, it's because, not very bluey yet. Is but it you've blue? not done much yet, have you? So you're going to have to do some other things eventually. Play it safe, don't you? Yeah, but just. What do we think, guys? Do we Shall like show it? <laughs> see the let's see the back a bit more. I like the the cut here where it goes up. Yeah, yeah, it's look. very f flattering, I think. And really nice where it sits, it's not like too low. Yeah. Let me know in the comments what you like, what you don't like. If you like the wrap waistband, if you think we should do this, it is really comfy. It's our seamless material again, but it's just... That's the other thing. These usually are better in cut and sew, where they're not 
seamless, but somehow we've made it work. It took a very long time again. I'm gonna get on with my baking because as I said, it needs to cool for an hour, but it's very simple. We've literally just got eggs, butter, almonds, which I'm gonna make into an almond flour, plain flour, sugar, cinnamon, chocolate chips. And it's all about the shaping of these, which I'll show you when I get to it. Guys, there is literally nothing better than this right here. All of us snuggling, watching Santa Claus 3. Absolutely dreamy, isn't it, Biscuit? How are you today, sir? I love cuddling up to this pumpkin cushion, it's so cute. <laughs> oh, good boy, you're so sweet. Big fluff ball, aren't you, little man? This is the interesting bit of the cookies because we are going to shape these as pumpkins. So what we gotta do, it says, so we make them into a ball. I'll put this recipe in the description box as well in case you wanna follow it too. So we're gonna make a little ball. Then we're going to make some little dents to make it look like a pumpkin. I'm hoping this will work. They'll probably all just come out like blobs, but it's worth a try. So we look like this. Oh, I think this is gonna work, Niall. So we have our pumpkin, and then we're gonna put a little stalk. I'm, oh no, that's too big. <laughs> too big. Yeah, that's better. Okay, I'm gonna get on with the rest, and I will pop you on a little time. Cool. Do these look? They're so cute. So I'm gonna pop them in the oven for about 15 minutes. Hope they don't just turn into little blobs. But at the moment they look really cute, don't they? <laughs> Go on, cheesy. Dinner is served. So what are we have in? This one. Easy bee frigatoni bake. Smells stun. And then over here. I've gone a bit OTT this evening. We've got the duvet down. We've got the floating candles out. <laughs> I saw these on Amazon and I wanted to get them for our dinner party. But I just thought, let's set the mood because we're having a bit of a Harry Potter marathon. I've put on my favorite one, which is Goblet of Fire. What's yours? Our Pat's dies in this one. But it's the one where Voldemort makes his proper entrance, isn't it? I just think, it, oh, I think it's such a good one. But yeah, we've got a really cozy setup down here. Wynne's dressed as a pumpkin right now, but she's she's kind of at the time in the evening where she's just a bit not keen. Or <laughs> she needs a nap. She's a bit grumbly, but it's fine. Also got some desserts going on. Oh, look, actually, I haven't showed you yet. My pumpkins didn't turn out too bad, did they? They just got a bit of a burnt tip. <laughs> Hate it when you burn your tip. <laughs> We haven't tried them yet though, because I wanted to try them on camera. Are they actually all right? Well, what's it supposed to be then? I don't know. Butter, like a... butter cookie, it's a sugar cookie, butter cookie. A bit like a cake. A bit more like a mm, I quite short, like them. shortbread at the store. Well, they weren't supposed to have chocolate chips in, but I thought they might be a bit, a bit too cakey without them. Mm. So I think the chocolate gives them a bit of schnazz. I mean, they're nice. <laughs> she likes Harry Potter. Oh, they're gonna have a marathon when you're old enough, baby. Many, many a marathon, especially at Christmas with a puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know you look like the guy from Maths, <laughs> Jesse from Maths Australia? Oh, Easy, <laughs> bloody gaslighting prick, <laughs> Jesse and Claire. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not so Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> you actually weirdly suit it. Yeah. <laughs> My caveman jeans. Era. Yeah, I feel like I'm also like a little bit like uh Look at yourself like in the lens. <laughs> we must protect the village. Just go and hunt and bring back food for the tribe. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a bit 
turned on, mate. <laughs> no, I it's the opposite, and it's giving me the ache. <laughs> I could wear it a few times. I, it's, it's the swiping that I don't like. Yeah, it's a bit. <laughs> That's the bit that gets me. I know, I'm doing it on <laughs> That is it. Good morning. Have you worked out that you have feet? Not quite yet. You know you got hands, but you don't know if you got feet yet, do you? <laughs> Hi. Who's staring into my soul? You're so cute. Should we go show everybody our new mumsy car? <sighs> I think we should, shouldn't we? Come on then. Hoppa! Right, I'm hoping nobody walks past our drive right now because we have pumpkin spice pyjamas and teddy slippers on. <laughs> and it's midday, it's one of those days. But... Question, this is my new car guys, which I'm so excited about, but... We have a bit of a white and gold dress moment going on on Instagram the other day and I want to know what you guys think. Is my car baby blue or white? It is baby blue, but everybody thinks it's white. <laughs> I, just, I just can't see it. It's so baby blue, but it's like a really just subtle colour. In case anybody does like cars, I don't really know much about cars, but my dad actually has this car, which was a big reason I wanted it. And I wanted the baby blue colour, but this is the Volvo XC40 electric. I'm also obsessed with this key colour. Although, I, do you know what? I thought it was a really cool little orange thing. And then when I started to use it a lot, it started to remind me of the Easy Gym padlocks. Did you ever have one? <laughs> I'm going to quickly show you inside. I mean... I am not a car channel, but just to quickly give you a show, because I kept going on about the fact I was going to have a new car after my Beetle. Oh, 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 we're in. Hang on, let me just get you on the dashboard. <laughs> we're in. We're obviously not driving anywhere right now. <laughs> it's when it's in the driver's seat and I'm in my Halloween pyjamas. <laughs> but I don't really know what I'm going to show you being in the car, but I just thought I'd bring you in. I actually wanted to see where, when I do do some vlogging in here, where shall I put you? Everyone does this kind of vlogging in their cars, but I can never work out how to do it. Like the hat, but would that not fall down? No? Not a fan of that? <laughs> but yeah, anyway, it's just very exciting. And after having my Beetle for like seven years, which I did love, and I was really sad to let her go. It was my first ever car, and I just really always wanted that sort of cream beetle with the roof that went down it reminded me of my barbies <laughs> it was just becoming way too just unreliable i mean it rolled down a hill backwards no one was in the car no one got hit by the car thank god because it was a quiet street but the handbrake was up and the car just wasn't feeling life anymore it was very very old i mean they, they don't make those cars anymore but yeah actually i'll show you my favorite thing about this car because i didn't even know that it had this how freaking cool if we ever went to a safari we could hang our heads out and say hi to the giraffes couldn't we when well they could get in here if they wanted to <laughs> i just thought that was so cool I, at the car that i test drove was like a different version of this volvo and it didn't have that roof so i was really pleasantly surprised when mine came with it because i feel like that's my favorite thing about it but anyway that's my new car thank you for joining me on my car chat i don't really think you need a tour of the inside it's very just carry but it is lovely doesn't it when we love our new little baby blue mumsy car <laughs> right we are out of the pajamas and into something else comfy. <laughs> so there wasn't really much point in changing it. I've just popped on some of these wide leg track. I'm obsessed with wide leg track. Well, just wide leg any bottom at the moment. But I love a wide leg tracky. But yeah, we're dressed. We've got a bit of makeup on. We're showered and we feel clean. <laughs> um, I have just come into Winnie's room again because the weather has taken a bit of a turn and it's very, it's really dark quite often now so this is the room where we still get a little bit of brightness so that's why we're in here and i am going to have this asos pasta with you because i did an order the other day and i thought i'd open it up with you because do you know what everything here is from top shop on asos and obviously top shop shut down but they now have like a section on asos and I have picked up a few things from there over the past few months and they are so nice. 
So I saw some really nice bits and they were all Topshop on ASOS. And I thought we could have a look because it's quite like autumnal. Quite a lot of like staple sort of basics that will go with lots of things, I think. You know what I actually got, which I couldn't believe. I added it right at the end, but I just love this colour because I have nothing like it. I added a fitted jean. I haven't worn a fitted jean in a few years. I don't think anyway. You know, like back in the day, we all wore like the Joni jeans. I don't think these are Joni. I think these are Jamie. So I think they're slightly higher waist than Joni because I'm not sure the Joni jean really would be my vibe anymore. Did you used to wear them? Because I feel like we all did, didn't we? <laughs> but I just love this colour. It's kind of like a... Oh, I don't know if the camera's actually doing it much justice. But it's sort of sandy. But it looks kind of vintagey at the same time. But we shall see because I also don't know if they will be the right size. I'm kind of still working out my sizes since having Win, and particularly in jeans. Also saw this gorgeous scarf, which I thought would go with just everything. Similar kind of color where it's sort of beigey. They also had a pink. I almost went for the pink, but I thought, no, we'll go for a beige because I think then it'll go with everything. I think I did go for a wide jean as well. <laughs> so we've got these gray, they're kind of gray blue. Sort of look gray in some lights and kind of blue in others, a bit like my car. <laughs> I also saw this gorgeous baby blue jumper. This light I thought would be really good in here, but it's kind of over exposed. Oh yeah, you can see this cable knit pale blue jumper. Maybe this is the blue that people thought I meant when I said I was getting a baby blue car. Oh, do you know what? I saw this and I've been wanting a set, but I couldn't find any trousers to match. But I thought this could be really nice for sort of an evening look. <laughs> Looks really weird off. But I think with um, maybe some like faux leather trousers. I haven't tried on my faux leather trousers since having win but i'd be intrigued to see if they still fit because they're really nice this time of year oh guys i went for a beanie oh, oh no it's too tight no 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 do you know what i saw this beanie and it was giving me like kira knightley vibes in love actually but no it's too tight isn't it i look like a sock so we've got this evening -y bodysuit which is like a sort of lace design. I don't know, if I can find a bra that would go under there. I don't like wearing like uh, structured bras very much, which you usually see under these and I'm not a big fan, but maybe like a comfy bra look would be nice under that. We'll see, we'll try. We also have this gorgeous bandeau, which is a bit of an evening vibe. Really love this material. Lastly, I saw this blazer. I love a baggy blazer this time of year. And I really wanted a grey one because I feel like it'll go with so much. Again, this isn't going to look good until it's on. I'm going to pop everything on and see how it all fits. Okay, I love this colour. Can you see more now what I meant by it just looks much better on? I think off these kind of look a bit circusy, but on you really can get the vibe. Where I just feel like with a nice jean, it's sort of like dressy cash. I should have put a jean on with it, with it really, shouldn't I? <laughs> Guys, I just don't think I'm a fitted jean gal anymore. As much as they like are much nicer on your bum than a baggy jean, you can't see the bottom, but I just feel a bit weird. I feel like, I don't know. I just think I completely have gone off that look. Let me just tilt this down and see if you can see to the ankle. It's also a little bit baggy by here on like the crotch bit, but I don't know, I just, I feel like they just, it's, it's just not doing it, is it? <laughs> I really like the colour, but uh, it's not a bit of me anymore. Right, I'm slightly undecided on these jeans. I kind of like them. And this is the thing, some baggy jeans can actually really make your bum still look quite nice. It doesn't like sort of <laughs> do that like the Joni and the Jamie jeans do, but I still feel like it's like, it's like flattering. You know when some baggy jeans are just make you look like a sack? Not so keen on them. <laughs> but I just feel like the crotch is really long. But I think the colour's quite cool where it's kind of grey and kind of blue. But there's just something about this crotch. But I think it's, I don't know, I kind of do like it, but does it make me look really small? 
Not sure. I think I'm going to have to try a few different... Let's put the jumper with it actually and see. Okay, I think they look a little bit better with the cable knit, but I'm still not sure. I still feel like I look very sort of... I don't know. That sort of straight. I quite like this jumper. The other thing with like a turtleneck jumper sometimes is I, th I think they just... Make me look a bit like an ostrich. <laughs> but then if I roll it down, I do feel like it's better. It's just quite a structured fit with quite like a big shoulder on the on this one. But I kind of like it. I really like the colour and I really like the cable neck. I'm going to have to look in the mirror a bit more because I can't really see what I'm looking at here. But I don't know, it's, it's slightly too boxy. Okay, next we have the little silky bandeau. I love this. I think this is really, really cute. And it's actually really comfortable. I was worried that it was gonna like fit weirdly because of the material doesn't have any stretch, but the way it's designed, it doesn't sort of like sit flat and then flare out, do you know what I mean? Where it sort of squashes your boobs. There's quite a lot of space there. I think that'd be a really nice sort of evening top to throw with any bottoms. And the top like does the talking. I've just thrown the blazer on top because I think this is the kind of outfit I would wear it with. This blazer is so nice. It's got that sort of structured look, but it's not super rigid. There's a lot of movement to this blazer, which is really nice because it doesn't feel like too formal. But I feel like this will go with so many things. I love the shape of it. Right, I'm just moving you by here because the sun is blaring and you cannot see anything anymore over there. <laughs> But this is just the last, last little thing that I wanted to try on. Actually, it's so much nicer than I imagined. So I just popped this little bralette underneath. I think I was visualizing like these lace tops we used to wear years ago when I was like 12, <laughs> maybe not 12, maybe like 13, 14. And we had those massive like underwire bras push up underneath and it just didn't look very nice. But I think with like, I don't know, just the sort of subtle, soft bralette underneath, it does look really cute. So yeah, love this, love the tops. I haven't actually popped on the scarf, <laughs> but I'll just show you in case you want to see. You know what, I really like this because it's so oversized as well. There's nothing worse than like a flimsy, thin scarf. <laughs> that is my bits that I picked up from ASOS. I just love their top shop section. So I'll leave all of these bits linked in the description box in case there's anything you like. And I will make sure I actually do it because I am so bad at linking things on YouTube. <laughs> Guys, I am low key obsessed with Strictly this year. <laughs> I've even made a Strictly chat on Instagram with you guys that also love it. Especially these two, they're my faves, Diane and Bobby. But I can't explain to you how excited I get to watch this every Saturday. I almost don't ever want a Saturday plan because like I always try and do things on Fridays rather than Saturdays because I want to be at home watching Strictly. I am a freak for it. <laughs> it's just so good. Is anybody else? I, I don't know why it is because I've always liked Strictly but there's just something about this year. There is also, can you hear that? There's jazz music playing from the speaker from Niall's phone and he is not in. I don't understand how that happens, but let's turn that off. You can probably also hear Wind's white noise because she is having a nap in her pram right now. I'm also dressed like a pumpkin <laughs> and I've got teddy bear feet on. I wanted to do a little bit of setting up and decorating because tomorrow is our halloween -y dinner party. And I just want to be ahead and not be doing it when we've got all our friends around. So, I think I'm gonna set up, no, I can't set up the table yet, that's a lie. I can't do that because we're gonna use the table in a little bit to do some pumpkin carving, I'm so excited. So, me, Kyle and Niall are going to have a pumpkin carving competition. We did it last year and me and Kyle are all up for this. Niall, not so much. <laughs> I think he's over the pumpkin carpet I've dragged him into for the past however many years <laughs> that I've been with him. But me and Carl are excited and what I'm actually thinking I might do this year, as well as a bit of carving, because I've seen this everywhere, people are painting their pumpkins. So what I'm thinking is I want to look for like a house design for my pumpkin. So I often make mine into a little house and then I have one of the mini pumpkins live in it. <laughs> but I might paint on my house little ghosts. Hello. Yeah. High five. <laughs> oh, blue. High five. You little chippy 
Look at her. She just looks so grown up, doesn't she? Oh, she's um, smiling at you. A brush. Oh, man. Are you enjoying that? Look at her, yeah. look at her, you. What's it like being set up there like a big grown adult? <laughs> Look at those cankles. Oh! Like oh, joking! <laughs> oh, this is a moment, Carl. It is. This is my first proper duty. <laughs> All you need to do now is change knackers. Yeah, well, I've tried to get you to do that. But now, I was doing it and you told me yesterday, I was like, so I just do it anyway. And then I was like, nah, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, it's totally fine. baby it poop fine. isn't like. Adult Right guys, we're done. I feel like we've done a really good job this Smashed year. It. I think this one's the best one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who's that is then. <laughs> this is mine guys. I feel like I did an upgrade of my hut last year. Look at my little it's toadstools. Nice. I, think, I think it's the... Uh, it's burning. Look at the toadstools. There's little sticks and stuff up next to it. Oh no, how cute. Yeah. And no, low. but yours is really good, Carl. What's this? Let's get it properly. Oh, you, have to get, you have to get low. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Carl always does something really arty. Yeah, well, arty I'm an artistic person. Skull, You're quite it? good with a pe pen or pencil it's in your hands, a, aren't you? A yeah. bit of a fail it's now, really, right. aren't you? Can't read all right. <laughs> well, <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> can't read all right. <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> can't read. <laughs> My um, name's GC. Dave, but she's got eyelashes, so it's, she's got to be. My some... name's GC. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, my name's GC. <laughs> no, but my name's GC. Well, how can your name be GC? My name's GC. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> well, I know. Well, I know. That's what always the two you do. It's <laughs> Winifred. She's back. Oh. <laughs> well, I do. My name used to be Winifred, but then I moved to the uh, moved to Bondi, Bondi, Bondi Australia, and now, <laughs> and now my name's GC. <laughs> why, why, why am I hearing rumours that you were kissing the toadstool the other day? You is that what it's called? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never kissed a toadstool in my life. Go away, toadstool. <laughs> <laughs> well, why, why are you hiding the toadstool? If you've got nothing to hide, just bring him over here. Do you okay. know what a toadstool is? What is a toadstool? Step. Yeah, well, she's <laughs> kissing the toadstool the dirty little <laughs> no. I would never kiss a step, would I? <laughs> well, I would... I hope not, because if, if you if you kiss the toadstool, then it's over. I tell you that it's over. I'm leaving the show. Coming up on Maths UK. <laughs> ma coming up on Maths Australia. Pumpkin. <laughs> maths pumpkin. Married at first pumpkin. Excuse me, in my maternity bra, <laughs> I am just getting into my comfies for the evening because that pumpkin wandu was absolutely boiling. With the postpartum sweats, I still get. In a fluffy onesie, it's not the one. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna sign off this vlog here because we're just gonna have some dinner and get on the sofa, probably watch more Strictly. <laughs> I'm so obsessed, it's ridiculous. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Do you know what I was thinking? That must have been like the sixth or seventh time I have carved pumpkins with you guys on YouTube. So thank you so much if you're still here. <laughs> Hopefully next year as well. I was saying to um, Carl and Niall, it'll be so cute that Winnie might be able to get a little bit involved next year, which will be adorable. She'll probably be only able to kind of pull out the insides, but yeah, I feel like it'll still be really cute. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you guys are all okay. I hope you have a good Halloween if you celebrate it and I will see you very soon.